Hi everyone, welcome to EMS World Expo 2022. We're here on the uh, exhibit hall floor at the Orange County Convention Center. I'm John Bassett with the editorial department of EMS World. We were lucky enough to catch up with Jason Patton of um, Fire Department Coffee and Fire, uh, Fire Department Chronicles. We had to, we had to gra uh, grab Jason between his uh, admirers trying to get selfies and, uh, and talk about how much they love him. So um, for, for those of you who might not be familiar with Jason, and there probably aren't too many of, of them left, he's a social media extraordinaire. But if you could just um, kind of introduce yourself to our yeah, viewers no. and, uh, and what brings you here. Today. Absolutely. No, I appreciate you, uh, you saying that. I've been very lucky. Uh, my name is Jason Patton. I uh, run Fire Department Chronicles and uh, part owner of Fire Department Coffee. I'm also a career firefighter and paramedic. I've been on for 16 years now. I started the uh, Chronicles portion of this stuff about six and a half years ago, and it's been an incredible adventure so far. Millions of social media followers. So uh, yeah, and and your keynote this morning was was funny. I think it was I think it was what everybody needed this morning after you know talking about the hurricane and some yeah. uh, some clinical things and uh, challenges to to the field. So this is your first time at EMS World Expo. Yes. Um, give us your first impressions. What what you think so far? I've, actually, absolutely incredible. Uh, it's one of the things that we're seeing in conferences across the uh, across the nation is almost I don't want to say a dying of them, but specific ones that haven't really really stake their way in the market that they're in and EMS world is not one of those I mean it, the, the, you guys are blowing it out of the water that the opening ceremonies I, I, I don't know how many hundreds of seats were in there but there were people lining the back of the of the uh, auditorium which I have not seen that many people in there so uh, this is amazing it's incredible to see so many like-minded humans coming around but the classes that I'm seeing the the uh, labels on it and what they're teaching on this is this is groundbreaking stuff the energy the enthusiasm yes. and just people you know, old friends, new friends. It's it's always uh, it's always great to see. Yeah. So you had an interesting story, and it seems like everybody has an interesting story about how they got into EMS. Yes. And and yours was yours was was great too. So if you could uh, kind of walk us through that. Yeah. Little bit. No. So uh, how I got into EMS was uh, I was literally a mechanic. And uh, I'm working on cars. I'm, I'm, I was not a great mechanic, I'll just say that. <laughs> but uh, a buddy of mine came up to me and he's like, hey man, I, I, just, uh, I just did EMT school. I loved it, it was so cool, I had a great time. Uh, you should try it out. And I, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll go there and try it out. And it was uh, four months intense. I was still working as a mechanic. I was uh, doing ride times on the weekends and, and still going to my job Monday through Friday and all the fun stuff. But going into EMT school was, that was where my mind was opened up to like, this is incredible. The human body is absolutely amazing. And to watch, to be able to learn about it and be able to help people and, and uh, you know, help my fellow man and woman, it's, it's, it, was, it was amazing. Just a different kind of mechanic, right? Yes, You're just exactly. working on bodies yeah, But the, uh, the return on that, it doesn't work very well if you right, don't do it right. right, so. right. <laughs> um, you're a firefighter as well. Yes. So uh, how, how, did that, how did that come about? And um, what's, what's a day like and what's a week like for, for your, your, work, your work life? Yeah, so, uh, the, on the fire sides, uh, getting it, so in South Florida where I'm at, if you wanna be first response, you have to be on the EMS side and uh, the fire side. So it uh, used to be kind of EMT firefighter, now it's paramedic firefighter at a minimum you, you need to be. But I uh, got into the fire side after doing EMT and paramedic. Fire school was very cool, I loved it. It gives you that that uh, testosterone driven, raw, like animalistic, uh, uh, you know, pushback that you that you enjoy. So, but you know, uh, 24 on, 48 off for my for the fire service, which is pretty standard for uh, for most places. And then if I'm not on shift, I, I got a, a, a beautiful six year old daughter and a wife. And then, um, but between all that is obviously chronicles and coffee and, and having a good time. And uh, let's talk about that, uh, the the company and and the you know your your social media empire. Mm. Uh, how did that come about and and um, I guess what's what's next? Yeah. What's next for that? Uh, probably a, an emotional breakdown at some point in time. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but it was, uh, again, we were messing around in the station. It's the same thing that uh, Fire and EMS across the world are doing, messing around with each other. When you have a little bit of downtime, you're not training or doing uh, running calls, then, you know, we like to, it's a brotherhood and sister. We like to hang out. So yeah. we were actually filming ourselves uh, doing a National Geographic's Fire Department edition, and we were hunting for different uh, positions, the that's, battalion chief. That's hilarious. Yeah, and the call that, uh, or the, uh, the video that kind of blew it out of the water and kind of uh, brought us to the forefront was uh, we were hunting for the paramedic via their natural mating call, which is uh, bitching. Uh, and it was, uh, <laughs> people thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, it was really, really good, so, so that was fun. So who's the, uh, you're obviously the, 
creative mind behind it, but I mean, what, what's the what's the team like? Do you uh, do you have uh, people helping you? Uh, how do how do these ideas come? To you? Most of the ideas are are just stuff that I've seen or come across. That's why it's so uh, relative to most people's because it, no matter what, whatever I'm running is most likely what everyone else is running, kind of thing. Uh, but it's I do all the filming and the editing myself, uh, which that just came from uh, kind of necessity. My uh, brother was doing some of the larger production videos. He was doing the editing for me, and we almost uh, broke up as brothers. Uh, it's a lot so, of work. The yeah. editing, it, it is a lot of work. Time yeah. consuming. Yep. He actually came. He called me up one day. I was like, hey, man, I want to film another video. And he goes, hey, listen, man, I, I love you, my brother. Uh, and um, this will be the last one. So, yeah. <laughs> so I learned how to edit. I taught myself Premiere Pro and all that. And it's been fun. And uh, my uh, the, the larger, large, large productions for Fried Farmer Coffee, we have an incredible team that comes together and helps us with all that. So. Um, any, any plans for the future you want to talk about? Uh, ex expansions or new, yeah. new, new areas that you're moving into? Uh, so for Chronicles, we're actually, we just filmed the pilot for a TV show that's going to be really fun. Yeah, we'll uh, go around, we'll get to highlight EMS and fire in, a, in an edited version, but we'll get to uh, highlight the, the stuff that firefighters and EMTs and paramedics are doing, but I actually get to narrate what they're doing. So, you know, it's not just like, look at this stuff, and most yeah. people are like, yeah. what's happening, you know? Uh, but I, I get to tell them what's actually happening on, on the forefront of it. Uh, and then Fire Department Coffee, we just moved it. We just created a ready-to-drink uh, coffee, which is incredible. We have uh, Irish whiskey and bourbon-infused coffees. Crack it open, enjoy this. It's alcohol-free, but you can enjoy the flavors of coffee yeah. Yeah. and uh, the whiskey and bourbon as well, so it's fun. Very, very good. Yeah. Thank um, you. So the... The, the TV series, is that going to be humorous? Is it going to be light So that's the fun part is I will try to get some humor into it in yeah. some way, shape, or yeah. form, but it will just be a highlighting of the heroic works that, that most people are doing, which is funny because the first TV show I was ever on was uh, Live Rescue. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, everyone watching it was completely confused. Right. Because, is, you know, there is. was no humor yeah. in it at yeah. all. So yeah. Yeah, it's always okay. fun throwing them a curveball. Well, you have to... You have to lighten the mood at, at yeah. some point with this line of work, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you, you people people need to laugh. It's, exactly. it's healthy mentally. Um, exactly. So bringing this back to EMS World Expo, we're in New Orleans next year. Tell tell the uh, the viewers uh, what the show was like and. Uh, why they should make the trip to yeah. New Orleans. Listen, if you <laughs> if you love EMS, if you love uh, learning about the logistical and, and the operational stuff that you're dealing with on a daily basis and expanding your mind because EMS in general is a constantly changing thing. That's why it's practicing medicine. We constantly need to be uh, learning the new uh, things that are coming to EMS and medicine in general. And, and right now, especially with the vendors, the people here, you can see that, that people that love what EMS truly represents. This is what it is. And I personally will be in New Orleans next year, September. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Great. Um, it was an honor talking to you. You Jason. as well. It was, uh, it was a blast meeting you and I appreciate you being here. You as well. Thank All you right. so much, All man. Right. Talk Thank to you. you later. Bye.